Rip currents, often mistaken for undertows, are narrow channels of fast-moving water that flow from the shore back out to sea. They typically form in areas where there are breaks in sandbars or along structures like jetties and piers. Rip currents can move at speeds of up to 8 feet per second, making them incredibly strong and challenging to swim against. Undertows, on the other hand, are the backwash of water that returns seaward after a wave breaks on the shore. While they can pull swimmers underwater, they are not typically as powerful or swift as rip currents. Undertows are more subtle but still demand respect and caution. When it comes to safety, understanding the difference between rip currents and undertows is essential. If you find yourself caught in a rip current, it's crucial to remain calm. Don't fight the current directly back to shore, as it can exhaust even the strongest swimmers. Instead, swim parallel to the shore until you're out of the current's pull, then make your way back to the beach. In the case of an undertow, remember that it's the backward movement of water after a wave breaks. If you feel yourself being pulled underwater, try to relax and float with the current rather than fighting against it. Signal for assistance and wait for help to arrive. By familiarizing yourself with these ocean dynamics and practicing water safety measures, you can enjoy the beach with confidence and peace of mind, always heed warning signs, pay attention to lifeguard instructions, and stay informed about local sea conditions. With knowledge and caution, you can make every beach day a safe and memorable experience.